Hi guys and girls, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to be working on making some push sticks and I'm using these templates I found on Matthias Wandel's website. I've watched a lot of his videos and he always seems to use these push sticks very safely and to, to make very accurate cuts. He uses two of them at a time. A lot of people only use one push stick but I think it's a major advantage to use two because then you can use one of them kind of like a uh, like a feather board to push the, the work into the rip fence. So comes on two sheets, cut them and put them together and you can get four push sticks out of it. I think I'm just going to make two for right now. I don't really need four but uh, two should be fine. I'm going to make my push sticks out of some pine. It's pine board I got here. And I'm actually going to cut a little bit closer to push sticks so I can avoid as much wasted wood as possible here. No sense wasting wood if I don't have to. If you've been watching some of my other videos, you've seen that I just recently got a table saw and been setting it up, trying to get everything aligned properly, learning how to use it. And from what I've been reading and seeing on YouTube, a big part of safety is using a decent push stick so you don't have to put your hands very close to the workpiece and the, uh, well, the workpiece, it doesn't matter, but the saw blade. You want to keep your hands as basically about as far away from the saw blade as you can. I was just watching a video this afternoon of a guy who uh, was testing to see if he could produce some kickback and in the process of his testing he almost cut several of his fingers off. I mean it was really quite close. It's not something that you really want to mess around with. If I had the money for a saw stop I would probably consider getting one but then there's also part of me that just kind of wants to use what I have and there's not I don't know there's something to be said for using old tools especially tools that are handed down from your dad or in my case from my grandpa so it's always nice to use stuff that you were given um, or that somebody else you know used. They're kind of a, a sentimental aspect to it. I'm just going to glue these down with some with a glue stick. You can use that spray adhesive but the glue stick actually works quite well. And it's a lot easier to get off because you can just put where you need it. You don't have to put a ton of it on. Before I cut these out, I'm just going to mark the center of these holes because the pattern will probably come off while I'm cutting out on the scroll saw. There we go, that was pretty easy. It's kind of fun using the scroll saw. You get a lot of stuff done really fast. So I think now I just need to kind of even out these edges. I think I'll bring down the router and uh, 
put a round over bit on it and go over all these edges except for where I'm actually going to be pushing stuff. I just need to do a little sanding to refine it a little bit. Take off any hard corners. I actually should have sanded before I um, used the roundover bit because it, it'll duplicate all the mistakes um, that I initially cut and just put them into the roundover. So that makes a little bit more work when sanding, but oh well. going to wipe some of the dust off here. Doesn't have to be super clean, but get a little bit of that sawdust off there from sanding. Then I'm going to paint it with some uh, cheap artist paint. Add just a little bit of water to it. Get it a better working consistency here. I didn't have any little brushes so I'll just use a little piece of rag and that should work. It's okay if it goes on pretty light because it really could be more like a stain than like a like a thick coat of paint. If I see some of the wood grain through that's okay. Really the main point of painting it is just when uh, I'm making videos to be able to tell the difference between the piece of wood I'm working on and uh, the tools I'm using. So that's what uh, Matthias always does and really makes it easy to see what's going on in his videos. Whereas I could see if you uh, just left the wood natural, visually it could get kind of confusing. Especially, you know, a lot of people that nowadays are watching uh, their videos on small screens. Like, you might be watching yours on a cell phone right now. So sometimes it's kind of hard to see what's going on on such a small screen. Although the screens are getting awful big now. My, my wife just upgraded to a iPhone 6, not the 7. She always goes one generation behind. But even that has a much bigger screen than the iPhone 5 she had before. I wasn't entirely happy with the way the paint turned out so I put another coat on with a small artist brush. It'd be nicer to have a bigger one so I'll have to go to the art store and I guess those Taclon brushes work pretty good and you can get them fairly wide. Now I'm just going to brush on a couple coats of shellac and the idea behind this is to keep it from uh, marking up wood so if I rub it against the wood here, it'll leave just a little bit of paint. So hopefully the shellac will help prevent that. Just a couple thin coats to make it look nice too. Of course it's going to be pretty sad when I cut into this, um, but I'll get over it. Well I was a little disappointed that even with two coats of shellac, it'll still mark up the wood if I press very hard. See those little blue marks there? So I'm gonna use the stuff that Matthias always uses and just dip the ends in this varathane, polyurethane. It's a water-based finish. Doesn't matter if the whole thing is coated in it, but uh, just the ends are gonna be touching material. So.
Overall, I'm very happy with the way these push sticks turned out. They work really well, and although I haven't used them a lot, I'm looking forward to using them in the future, and I feel like they really improve the safety. Um, in so many cuts, it's easy to get your hands close to the blade, and with these things, I feel really confident that I can keep my hands away from the blade and I can also control the material. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you next time. Take care.